Hi there, folks. It's Jonathan Denwood here from WP Tonic. And in this video, I'm going to be discussing some of the insights and techniques that you need to understand that will help you get more membership subscriptions in 2024. If you're starting on your membership journey or you're midway, I think I've got some really great insights. I will be back in a few moments, folks. coming back folks so you're looking to get more membership subscriptions for your great membership websites you're starting on your journey or you're a few months or you might be six months into the journey and you're looking for some insights some tips some advice so um i think number one the best advice i can give you um, obviously, there's two buckets, those that are starting to build their membership website and two, um, those that have gone so far on their journey and they're trying to increase sales. Um, so there's two extinct bu buckets there. I think both of you, um, you can get some great benefit by looking at the startup community because I, I personally, and I go on about this in a lot of my videos, is that there's a lot of overlap between building, starting and building a successful membership website and building a startup, basically, um, if you really think about it. So there is a load of advice out there, especially around the bootstrap startup world um rob rolling um startups for the rest of us podcasts would be a great resource for you now when it comes to your first course what a lot of people worry about is about the layout of the course they 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 just go potty about that they also try and build elaborate marketing automation systems before they even got their first paying student. This is all bonkers stuff, folks. I'm sorry. It has its place, but you that you're in you're stepping up a stairway and you've got to take each step as it comes. Now, what you've got to be concentrating on is you, which comes from the startup world is are, are you offering vitamins or are you offering a painkiller and what that means if is that if you have some urgency um some real need from those that are looking for a solution and they will get it from your course or, or it's clear from the verbiage and from the marketing material they will get a solution they are much more likely to sign up for your course. But this will depend on price. Now, there's a load of people out there spinning the fin that your first course can be around $6,000 and you're going to get people signing up, especially if you sign up for their course. Um, I would be extremely wary of these charlatans out there that are pushing this. Um, I know you want to really believe that, um, and it can happen. I'm not disputing. There will be uh, a few people that um, can. Um, this so they have honed their message so carefully and they know their audience so well that they can really um, through the communication they can guarantee to the the prospective student that their problem is going to be solved and that target audience has urgency as well because if there's no urgency, um, they can say, well, I haven't got the money at the present moment or I, I need to do more research. But if there's real urgency and your course meets real need and real demand, you will get sales. Guaranteed. Absolutely guaranteed. 
that is is called in the startup world product fit. Um, and product fit is a science in its own right. And loads of people get it wrong. And you will get it wrong initially. And you're going to have to work on the verbiage on your home page, on your key pages of your website, on your key landing pages. You're really... Um, the more complicated the, your initial course, the more harder it is for it to be really focused on this real initial need that your po prospective students will really have. Now, the more you concentrate on that rather than the layout of your course and, and upsells, downsells, whatever the marketing optimization is around, the um the better this is going to go i've written an article you find the link in the video description that goes into all this in a lot more depth now that's the kind of startup that's i can't go into everything in this video because i don't want the video to be war and peace um the second bucket you know you're you're further on on the journey you might be six months to a year you've got you've proven that there's demand that you're meeting um the need of a certain group of students and they they have passed you've got feedback you've probably had to adapt um or added or adapted certain lessons from the feedback you got but the fog the fog of initial launch and it's the fog that anybody starting a business online goes through no matter how much experience they've got this is clearing and you've got more focus now the what can you do to increase the profitability of your course obviously you can increase the price yeah you can offer additional elements upsells and you can reduce what is called churn that's another concept from the startup world is that if you've got a leaky bucket, that means you're getting new students to sign up for your course from your lead magnet, from your trigger course, which can be a, a mini little course with a, a low trigger price to get them into your email list. And then you can... Um, market to these people because these people will be at different stages depending on the urgency that your call satisfies is that you can get a situation you've got people coming in to the course but they're leaving you know so you've got a leaky bucket you've got a load of churn you know more people are leaving the membership that then they're signing up that's a fundamental problem folks so there's you know you need to talk to students you need to find out what bits of the course that they are finding really useful and which bits aren't and how do you make the course more effective what why is there a mismatch is um <clears throat> there's a load of factors there that can you can really work on that will reduce churn and you can also work on adding one-to-one um, -one coaching, group coaching, um, looking at building more community function into your membership website. There is a ton of stuff that can increase the usefulness and the sticking, stickiness of your membership website to reduce churn and also more opportunities to uh, upsell your students with real um, content that they will find really useful. I'm going to leave it at this. I like to say, written an article that goes into this in a load of detail. You find it in the video description. If you found this video useful, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Only about twenty percent of you are subscribing. Please increase that because it really helps the channel and it encourages me to make more of these videos. I'll see you soon, folks. Bye.